Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. It is probably closer to about 10 o'clock on Saturday night, and I am still fighting a cold. So if you tuned in to my last video, I think it was packing my diaper bag. Um, I talked about how I'm currently fighting a really nasty cold. I am definitely feeling a lot better, but I'm still fighting it. And so <laughs> I'm sorry for the way that I look. Truly, I don't like to show up on camera like this, and so, it just is what it is. Like I said, it's late o'clock. It's late o'clock. It's late on Saturday night. And um, I'm just now sitting down with some peace and quiet in my home in order to film this with you. So here we are. I am going to be packing my mommy bag. I've talked about this in a couple of other videos. I actually received this from Timu. And this keychain did not come with it. This is one that I received on a previous trip that I figured I would put on my bag because I just thought it was so cute so it is a sling bag they're really popular right now I actually got it with the intention of wearing it in front of me I used to wear a fanny pack when back when if you're if you lived through this time like lol when north faces north face fanny packs were like the thing to like wear it like a crossbody lived through that era and I haven't been able to go back down that road yet but I feel like I'm getting there my friend <laughs> actually uses a fanny pack and she loves it because she's got small children as well and she actually uses it to set her daughter on so like such a genius thing I just haven't gone out and got myself one but I wanted to use this I like that I can have it in front of me and I can get into it for all the things that I need throughout our day so I figured I would sit down and kind of pack it with you so I can show you all I'm going to be putting in here. This is my diaper bag. It's already pre-packed. I did this video as I had mentioned. I will link that above for you. So if any things, anything that I'm putting in here doesn't really make sense as to why I'm putting it in here rather than the diaper bag or it seems like I'm missing something, check that video out first before you like jump to conclusions and you know whatever. Just hear me out on that. Okay, so I have a bag here full of all of the goodies that I will be putting in here. Hopefully everything will fit. This is the first time that I've actually sat down to, like I said, try to put everything in here. I think everything should be fine. I have a couple of extra things in here, like, like my actual wallet because I'm gonna be converting it. You'll see. Let's just jump on in, right? Let's stop talking about it. First things first, this is really important. This actually, it's like a little small like wallet sling thing. It actually came in, in another bag. But I have my kids' birth certificates in here because obviously first things first, we're gonna have to get on a plane and my kids have to have their birth certificates for or a copy of their birth certificates to get onto the plane. So very, very important. I'm gonna put that in there first. I think I'm gonna put it in, I'll show you where I put it as I go. I think I'm gonna put it in this back pocket here. As you can see, there's like a big back pocket. I'm gonna just slide it on in there because it's really important. So there you have it. Okay. Secondly, I have our park tickets. So I ended up booking park tickets after booking our actual like our actual stay. So they sent us cards for them. I'm just leaving it in the envelope and everything because it's just easier that way. Um, but I, I think I'm also going to put that back here in that same little pocket. Let me put it behind that. So pack, pack back behind there. Okie dokie. This is my wallet and this is the wallet I'm going to be condensing it down to. I've gone over this in my pre trip haul if you're interested in seeing this it is by lounge fly it's the 100th anniversary really really cute i've never used it so i figured this would be the perfect event to do so so i'm going to convert that but i will wait to do that in just a minute and then aha here we are I wanted to talk about this just a little bit so i have two disney gift cards one of them is Frozen and one of them is just Mickey. They're both $50 gift cards. They're actually specifically for my kids. So I already have Henry is my son and Briar is my daughter. I have their names on them and then I also have their names on the actual cards. 
because I wanted to get my kids on a budget, not only for them, but for me, mostly for me, but um, also so my son will understand. He's almost six years old and he's really in this phase right now where he just thinks that he wants something everywhere we go, like every, like everywhere. So if we go to a grocery store or like literally any store we go to, he is wanting to spend money. And so I figured instead of him just being like, I want this and I want that and I want this and I want that, and feeling obligated to get him everything that he wants, um, I'll put him on a budget. So once all of his money is spent, that's it. Hopefully that will also keep him a little bit more like, like mindful of what he's actually truly wanting and what just like seems cool to him, if you know what I'm saying. So that's the intention here. I'm going to put that in my wallet, but I'm going to also wait. But I wanted to definitely touch base on that because um, I just think that it, I'm hoping that it's really going to help myself and then help him as well. Something along the money wallet side that I wanted to mention is that I do still need to get out some cash for mouse keeping and things. I haven't done it yet. I'm really pushing the boundary. We have about, as of today, I think we have about five days until our trip so um, I still have a little bit of time to ensure that I get that done but um, just so you know you, I won't be talking about that much in this trip or in this video it'll probably be my next video that I really talk about that kind of stuff because I'm going to be like pre-trip hustling but I wanted to definitely mention that a little bit so I now have antibacterial hand wipes I think I'm going to put that in the secondary pocket so this pocket here I think I'm going to try and put those in here so that they're accessible. Along those lines, I also have a little pack of baby wipes. I like these. We also are going to have like a million and a half baby wipes on hand in our diaper bag and everything else. But I like this little pack because it's small enough to fit into my mommy bag that I can just grab one out for hands and whatever else we might need it for while we're at the airport. Eating breakfast, that sort of deal. So that is in there, and that's probably all I'm gonna put in that pocket. It doesn't really look like much, but it's it's full. Okie dokie. I also went ahead and bought uh, some gum. So we've already gotten into a pack of it, but there's two more packs in here. I really got it with my son in mind because I my daughter still like drinks milk out of a like cup bottle sippy thing, and so. I plan on having her drink that whenever we're like taking off and landing just to ensure that it doesn't bother her ears. So I have that same idea in mind for my son with this. Let me get some more things going in here before I start putting them anywhere. I also have my chapstick. I actually got this in a gift box, Poppy and Pout. And I actually got that as a gift from Ninny Co with a Christmas gift box that they sent me. So this is actually by the, I guess the brand is Poppy and Pout and it's pomegranate peach flavor. Um, I really, really like it. It smells, it smells so good. And um, it's in like a cardboard style like chapstick tube and you push the bottom of it upwards in order to push the chapstick out. I love it. I want to use it. Mm. It's really nice. Um, I think I want to put like all that kind of stuff in a certain pouch. I'm like pulling things out now, but I'm trying to like organize it in my mind before I start putting it into the bag. So this right here, this <laughs> is kind of funny. It's a bag full of just little things. Let me, I'll pull them out one by one so I can kind of more so show you. So uh, there's a little slinky in here. I put a pin in here, it didn't come with it, which actually the pin is broken. So I'm glad I noticed that before we took off. Oops, there is a little stamp in here. Love never fails. There is a little thing of bubbles. And then there is this little tiny notebook pad situation a bunch of blank papers and then so it is a heart but it's actually like this kinetic sand style play-doh-y 
stuff. It's like slime and kinetic sand mixed together. So it's actually really fun, but it's not messy as you can see. Like there's not a bunch of sand flying everywhere. So I, my son actually got this as a Valentine's Day gift. This all, everything that just, I just pulled out of this bag. And um, I thought it was so neat. I was actually looking through all this Valentine's Day stuff and I was like, that is such a neat little pack that I could bring for him to kind of keep him entertained while we're waiting around at the airport because my mother-in-law is going to be coming along with us and she actually called us today and was like, have you guys like heard about how crazy the airports have been lately? And we're like, no, you know, we don't really watch the news very often. And she said that with all the spring breakers that people are having to show up for their flights like three hours in advance to ensure that they make their flight in time so that means for us we would have to get there at like two in the morning which seems pretty extreme to me because that would mean that we'd pretty much have to wake up at like midnight to one o'clock in the morning that's very 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 early for a five o'clock flight so i don't know about all that especially with kids i just don't know i feel like we shouldn't have any issue trying to make it to our flight. I feel like three o'clock in the morning is pretty, like leaving at three o'clock in the morning was kind of my idea. Like at the very latest, like leaving at three or 3.30 even, so that we could get there by like, like 3.30 or four, somewhere in there. I don't know, but anyway, Two hours, either which way, two to three hours, that's a pretty long time for a six-year-old to be staying like seated and patient and you know all that, even though it is early in the morning. I feel like having like kind of like a busy bag that he's not actually like very attached to the things inside of it. So if I feel like, because I, I really, I've talked about this a little bit, I think in previous videos, I really don't like having to bring like a million and a half things to keep my kids entertained. I really would prefer just having like a book, something to draw on, which is what I have in my, my diaper bag back here for the kids and um, have that for them for the plane and everything and just kind of call it quits at that. I feel like having much more than that is a little bit extreme. Trying to keep up with all these little bitty pieces and little bitty things, it's just too much for me. So um, if he could use these things and get what he wants out of them and then I can just like toss it aside and not think about it for the rest of the trip. Or like if he doesn't really care for it very much and like does like very little with it and is just kind of like meh, whatever, and I can just throw them all away, I, I would be okay with that truly. So anyway, that is something that I do plan on putting in my little mommy bag just to have something for entertainment for him because like I said, my daughter, she'll probably just want to lounge around a little bit, but my son will probably be a little more intensive than that. Okay, so another thing that I have, so this is what I have in my purse formally. It's a little Compass Health, um, it's a little pill box. There's some pills in there right now, so I'm not gonna really be able to like show you, but there's little bitty slots here and there. This is what I use normally just to have something, some medications in my bag, but I just recently bought this one and it has a lot more space for options. So I kind of want to put a couple of things in here. I have my medications here aside, um, but that is what I'm going to do in a second also. Let me finish up the other things. No, you know what? Let me start with my wallet. <laughs> I'm getting too ahead of myself here. Okie dokie. Here we go. Okay, so I'm in the middle of trying to get the little goopy parts off of the gift card. It's just, this one's really just having a hard time getting that yucky stuff off. And I don't want it to get yucky in my wallet, my brand new wallet. So... never had one like kind of it just kind of almost disintegrated against it not great so with that that is done which just feels nice i do have a little change compartment i think i might end up putting 
some quarters and pennies in here in case Henry wants to do any of the press penny machines. Because I know that that is kind of fun for him. And that is good on my wallet. So now I'm using my brand new wallet for the first time. It's pretty fun. So that is in here. I don't know if I've shown you. Here we go. There's still quite a bit of space in there. So I'm just going to tuck my um, gum in there. And then, let me see. I'm going to get the medications in here because I get headaches a lot. Honestly, and I don't want to risk forgetting it. Something else I'm going to be putting in there is my lipstick. This is the Super Stay, what did I say? The Super Stay Ink Crayon, and it is in color Reach High, and it's like my all time favorite lip color I've ever had. I just love it. I really, truly do love it. It's really. It's one of my, I'm, a, I'm an autumn, and I think it's just a really good autumn color for me. So that is that. It's really neutral, too. It's like a natural look. I try to go, I don't really like extremely, like, I don't know, pigmented. I don't know if that's the right, even the right word. I just don't really like super crazy colors on me. It's just not my thing. I really don't like it at all. So um, I really try to be careful about not getting crazy colors. And um, so, and that one just like kind of matches my natural lip color and I really like it. Okay. So I could label these. I don't think I'm going to though. I think I will know which ones are which. So that is Excedrin. And then I'm gonna put some ibuprofen on the other side because I think those will probably be the ones I use the most. ibuprofen in there but I definitely use ibuprofen more so than anything. Let's see what the last one was. And then the smaller pockets I will do like those. Whatever I can't fit in here if I like truly need it I will also put it in my first aid kit which is those bags back here. I didn't pack them already, but I went through them the other day to kind of ensure I had what I needed in there. That's true. I need to grab a few things out of there. Now that I think about it. Okay, this is too full. Sorry, I know you can't really see what I'm doing here. Let me maybe see if I can. There we are. Welcome to it. <laughs> I put a lot of ibuprofen in here and it was kind of unnecessary, so I'm gonna take some more out because I think it's struggling to close now. putting in there is my allergy medication we're going during flower and garden and um i i i need my allergy medicine so i'll put that on this side 24 hours so i don't need a whole lot but i'm sure now i have them Something else I'm thinking about putting in here, I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to though, is I have some medicated Sudafed. Like I said, I have been pretty sick with a cold. And I also have mucus relief. I don't know how well you can see those two, but there you go. Um, I have those two because I, I haven't really used the mucus relief, but I've been using the Sudafed a little bit here and there. I'm not going to put them in there now because I'm really hoping by then I won't need it. But... If later on I decide that I need it, I will do so. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here. This is actually a pretty good angle. So I'm gonna just shove this. Hopefully, maybe I'll shove it down behind with my gum. Okay, 
so that's that. This I actually have for my sunglasses. So down inside there is a little lens wipe. It's, it's actually like a cloth. So I'm going to put my sunglasses in there. I have this on my sunglasses. I kind of talked about this in my pre-trip haul and um, it's adjustable, but it really just kind of holds on your sunglasses for you. I don't like having my sunglasses when I'm not wearing them hang from my, my collar of my shirt. It's just not my thing. So um, I really like these. I can just like pull them off my face and hang them around my neck by this. And I, I just like it a lot more. So I'm gonna leave that on there. I'm just gonna kind of wrap it up and see how well I can get it all to fit in here. Let's see. Okay, should be fine. Maybe if I took the, let's see if I can take the lens cloth out first. And then I have to pry it out from in there. last things I really truly could probably put this in my diaper bag um, so I might end up doing that but as of right now and for the sake of this video I'm probably gonna just put it in my mommy bag I bought this to go on our stroller um, and I'm gonna just clip it to one of the loops of our stroller which I will show you another day probably in our trip vlogs and then use this little clip here to clip it to my daughter's muslin blankets so that hopefully her muslin blankets won't hit the floor in the airport or in Disney while we're walking around or whatever. My daughter is a muslin blanket girly. She really has to have her blanket with her like nearly all times. So I bought this with the intention of keeping the blankets from hitting the floor because I don't want to have to pack a million and a half blankets with the idea of them possibly hitting the floor every single day. So I bought this as a precautionary. This is actually for um, like you clip this part to a beach bag strap and then you clip this part to a beach hat. You know what I mean? Like a wide brimmed beach hat. That way you don't have to put it inside your bag, but it was really super duper cheap. So I figured it would work for that idea. So I'm gonna put that in this little pocket here since it's, this thing's getting for I won't lie about it. Okay. I think that's pretty much it. The only other thing, oops, my bag's flying away. The only other thing that I was wanting to put inside my mommy bag, which might not really work, I might just have to carry it, is my tripod. I do plan on vlogging this trip, so I would like to have this on hand as much as possible. Let's see if I can get it to fit. If not, it's not a huge deal. I can just carry it in my hand. But to be hands-free as a mom while traveling is like ideal. It's actually if I bend it. Hey, did you see that? Look, it worked. <laughs> Shoved right down in that corner. Okay, there we go. And actually, I mean, it's pretty packed, but I made it work. Sorry, I know this angle. Fix this angle a little bit here. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Here we go. Completely packed. So, I have everything I need from some chapstick and lipstick to medication and money and all of the things. I am pretty impressed. I'm surprised that it holds all this. I mean, I am, but I'm not. It's gonna be heavy, but it's, it's gonna work out. So, thank you for hanging out with me. Hopefully this kind of um, maybe will turn you on to a mommy bag like this. I'm hoping that it'll get us through. Obviously, like I said, I do plan on vlogging our trip, so if you're interested to see how this bag specifically works out for me, or how like having a mommy bag separate from the diaper bag works out, stick around. Also, like I said, we are going to Disney World and I'm going to be packing, or 
I'm going to be vlogging that whole trip as well as having, I have lots of videos I've already made for that trip. And then I'm going to continue to have a lot of, a lot, I say a lot. I think I'm going to have about two more prep videos after this before the trip vlogs actually start coming out. So if you're interested in seeing any of those things, I suggest that you stick around. Thank you for hanging out with me and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.